Okay, tonight we have an unboxing. Well, it's not. It's tonight for me, but for tomorrow it's for you. All right, here is what we're going to unbox. It's another Steam Loco. It says HO Pacific Steam, ready to run. Puff Smoke Locomotive, Vapor Pacific. Pacific, so obviously I'm guessing it smokes. The box is not the best, but um, yep. Don't know what that means. USRA 3008. I don't know what all that sort of stuff means on it. That's your box. Showing you what's in it. Then it's just got pictures of other carriages and stuff on the back. Alright, I don't like bouncing these sort of things around too much, so, alright, let's get it open and show you. See, the box is already coming to bits. Well, the plastic, the old plastic. I don't know how old this is, but I would say by the plastic in it, it is quite old. There you go, check that out. This is another one of my eBay bargains. So we'll do the loco, the tender first. So it's got a bit of a light on the back. It's got pickups on both sets of wheels. Wheels are quite dirty, which is nothing new, is it? As we would know. And it says, made in Yugoslavia. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah. So... A little bit tarnished, but um, the wheels are absolutely filth. I can feel the weight bouncing around, so that's something I think I'm going to have to fix. But yeah, not bad, that side of it. Oh, this is a... Now the daylight, it says on it, up the front there, you can see. Very nice detail. You can see all the bits and pieces. Let me get my little stick so you can see all of the detail of the piping all the piston rods and everything all the link arms and everything are all there a lot of nice rivets and so forth all the pipes and so forth there around the back so you've got front set of wheels are quite good and they've got a spring on them it is very very filth I don't know if you see that but that wheel is absolutely gunked on see I can just pull it off on the stick um, trailing wheels look all right there's a bit of a mark up under there looks like someone's glued that I'd say and that's been broken so but you can oh sorry you can see that under there it's been broken I don't know whether you can see that or not, yeah. And there's a bit broken there, which I'd say is where the screw holds it in, the body in. Sorry, I was moving around. Um, yes, it looks like it's got a smoke aperture at the, there, at the front there. Top of it looks all right. The front of it, it's got a little bell. Looks like it might have a light. All of that looks okay at the front. A knuckle coupler, but it's permanently fixed. All right, round to the other side. Everything looks all right. The wheels are all right. Doesn't look like there's any loose wheels. All the piping looks great. So yeah, all in all, she looks like a lovely little engine. But there's a bummer about that being broken. See, so you can see that there. So that might be how it all comes apart. But no, I'm not going to pull it apart now. But um, I'd say this big screw there, that's for the back wheels. Screw there for the front wheels. There's a screw there, which looks like it goes into the body. And I'd say those two just go into holding the wheel sets and gears and everything in place. So it's got a bit of weight in it, so that's kind of good. But uh, yes, yeah, see, you can definitely see 
see the crack on there so somebody's definitely glued it I'd say somebody's dropped it and that's possibly part of the same issue so yeah but it's a nice looking load eh? I like it there we go as usual a bit of dust so forth around the sides that's to be expected so yeah beautiful little loco 462 so yeah all right stay tuned and we'll um get it on the track okay the next unboxing we have is this one lima ho scale brown coach ho 270 it says underneath uh, nothing on that end 9234 it says on that end nothing on the back and nothing on there so here we go I'd say this is fairly old all right LMS 2257 number three so it's a third class just carefully take it out nothing left over in the box no so lovely looking carriage i'll get that in there for you all to see yep so plastics there all looks quite good quality there all the stuff underneath there feel loose metal inside the loose again it's got the um, European couplings. Um, a bit of the plastic's moved up there. I can see just a bit of a gap there. You might be able to see it. But all everything looks okay there. All the undercarriage looks alright. Another one front end there. She's missing a buffer there. And the top's just got normal wear and tear underneath. Wheels are filthy as well. See the filth in there. That's there. All the other, and it says Lima, Italy underneath. And those wheels are filthy as well. So we've definitely seen a bit of life in this one. So yes, two buffers on this end. And it's missing a buffer at this end. So, hmm, okay. That's that one. But wait, there's more. So we're doing something very special for you today. Here's number two. So, sorry. Outside that side. This one says Brown Coach 270 again. Nothing on the back. 9234 on the box again. Same as the other one. And nothing much. Bit of dust. So as i said before they've been around a while so take this one out rearrange my bench a little bit sorry for the noise so it's got the exact same number 2257 as the other one number three lms plastics there looks okay over the top just a bit of wear and tear the weight's loose again, two couplings, European coupling, uh, two buffers, European coupling, down this side, plastic seems to be in a good condition for a bit of oil or something residue on the side there, it's all got, right, it's got all four buffers, Lima made in Italy again, the wheels once again are absolutely filthy, so yep. So that's number two. But wait, there's more. Aha, Lima HO. This says, it says on it, car carrier. I don't know if you can see that, but someone's written car carrier. But looking at that, I don't think that's a car carrier. So, 
LMS Dining it says on this end. Brown Coach H270 again there. Nothing on the back side, nothing on the other side, and it's got 9231 on the top. So we'll have a look what this one's got in store for us. Ooh. Bit tight. Ooh, there it comes. And it says first. She's definitely first class. Uh, bit of dust as always. All the plastic looks okay. All the plastic down here looks good. The roof looks okay. It's got... This looks okay. A bit more pronounced and it's got the frame around it whereas the other two didn't. So this is obviously a slightly different carriage. European coupling again, two buffers down the other side. Got a little bit of a scratch here on the window. Still looks good. All that's still there. Same with that, still got the two buffers. But this one's got three axles per truck set. Bit of a mark on that one. No, it's just a bit of stuff, is it? Yep. And these axles are absolutely filth. As you can see, look, I can see a bit of brass there. Or what looks like brass but let me get my poking stick and it says Lima Italy on here it's definitely a different carriage from a different set now let's see if we can get some of the dirt or something off this yeah look I'm just scratching that with me with my stick and all the stuff's coming off it see so it will need a definite clean but that's all right so that's another one. But wait, there's one more. Ha da! The fourth one in the set that I bought. So this says Lima Models Dining, if you can read that. Uh, you can see it's a dining car because it says. 309171 uh, Normal Lima stuff on that side Nothing there Nothing there Now that's a lovely picture on that isn't it? Look at that Cool Alright Let's get this one out And if you haven't noticed tonight's theme Or the theme of this lot Brown It says dining up there. Someone scratched into the foam, polystyrene. Or... So carefully lift it out. All right, straight away, this is another two-wheeler. That one's a three-wheeler. So that's definitely a different set. But these are all, I'd say, the same set because that says a 270 on it. You can see it says 270 there. It says dining car. I can't quite read what that says. Maybe I'll have to get my eyes to it. No, it's a bit too fine for me. But anyway, a little bit of a buckle here. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but see the buckle just there? It's long here. See that there? It doesn't quite join up, but that doesn't matter. I don't mind. See? Okay, there. Two buffers there. Still the European couplings. Like on that other one, see the first class one had the, the actual different piece on the carriage between the carriages they're all, all slightly different but I'd say that's a different model now we've got white card or something in this section which is probably where the chefs work hard <laughs> um, we're missing a buffer on this one as well around the other side I'd say that's the section behind there where the where they make all the food because this side you can see straight through and we've got little tables and chairs in here. I don't know whether you can see that. So little tables and chairs. Um, all in all, it's in good condition. The wheels aren't as dirty. Oh, what have we got there? Definitely been run a lot. Just needs a good clean. The wheels. I'll take the wheels out and give them a good clean. 
but it says Lima Italy underneath there so and they're all the European couplings which is fine by me there we go all right I'll put these on the track I'll join them up to the loco and I'll be back okay here we are at the track I've just put the train on the track with all the carriages so I'll just slowly pan this around and I did notice when I was putting that carriages on the first class has a black roof all the rest have a grey roof so that's the first thing I noticed so um, hmm shall we give it a go let's see let's see what we can do all right in forward let's go oh I can hear some noise no buzz lights are on whether you can see that you can see the light on at the front but nothing there maybe because it's all so dirty no just doesn't want to go no she wants to all right even the little light in the carriage is lighting up in the in the um, back of the tender is lighting up, but nope. Hang on, let's try reverse. Into reverse. Nope. nope. Oh well, looks like another cleaning job. What a pain! What a pain! Oh well, you know what I can do. Alright, stand by. Alright, just to give you all a thrill and show you all what the carriages look like, I've put my SNCF on the track, which you probably haven't seen before. But I've had it for a while. All these go up and come down, the pantographs. They all work, as you can see. But she doesn't have any lights or anything else. But she works. I know she works. So, all right, let's give her a once around the track. Make sure all the points are the right way. Yep. All right, let's go. Doesn't like the points all the best, but yeah. Uh, let me move this back a bit. Alright, here we go. That's better. I've just cleaned the wheels. So, that might help. That's about half power, as you can see. Half power. So shall we be a beast and give it more? Why not? It can only come off, right? That's three quarters power. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, full power. Woohoo! 
Ah, I think this power pack's getting a bit too hot because it is, as I said, 31 degrees in here at the moment. So, um, yes. Oh, well. Can't win them all, can you? So if I carefully pull these back, you'll see. So that's one of my other locos that I've had for a while. So, um, hmm. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Looks like I've got some more cleaning to do. And um, there's another unboxing over and done. So we've got that one. And the four carriages. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And um, don't forget, leave your comments. Bye for now.